Yo guys, Superior David here, and today we have some glorious news to talk about because Alec Dawson from the dev team recently tweeted that there will be some Priest and Druid nerfs coming to Hearthstone, and if you can tell, I for one am very excited for this. I'm sure many of you are very excited for this because the meta has been, you know, it's been feeling a little stale these past few weeks, so I feel like we can like really use that one last balance change to sort of like get us through the last few weeks of Forge and the Barons. Apparently these nerfs will be going live, you know, sometime in the next few days, depending on when this video goes up, but in the meantime, I thought it would be fun to do a little nerf prediction video here because I have a lot of thoughts on the matter in case you couldn't tell. Plus, you guys get to marvel at my superior skills of predicting, or alternatively, if I incorrectly guess all these nerfs, you can like point and laugh at me. So either way, I feel like it's going to be a win-win for you guys. But before we get into things here, definitely let me know what you think is going to get nerfed down in the comments below, because, you know, if you incorrectly guess stuff, I want to be able to point and laugh at you. I feel like it's, I feel like it's only fair here. So now with that out of the way, let's get to some predicting. Okay, so to start things off, we're going to be talking about the Druid nerf, because I feel like it's the most obvious of these nerfs, especially since Alex mentioned they want to address the amount of non games in druid right now so there is absolutely like no doubt in my mind that gibberling will 100 percent be nerfed here i know there are a vocal group of players who want to see like glowfly or arbor up get nerfed and you know maybe that will happen down the road but i'm pretty adamant that we need to like address gibberling right now because gibberling leads to the most amount of non games with druid allowing token to druid to just like pop off and create these overwhelming boards within like the first like two three turns of the game and like classes can't like most classes can't even hope to deal with that and i find it to be like an all-around just like unfun experience to play against because it feels like most of the time you don't even get to play the game if your opponent gets like gibberling and like a decent mulligan back. So with all of this established, I think the question is, how do we nerf gibberling? Well, frankly, I've seen like a lot of complex solutions floating around that don't really seem too intuitive to me. So I'm going to say that the most uh, simple solution is the superior solution. And my prediction is that they're going to nerf gibberling to cost two mana, up from one mana to two mana. Some people might not think that like this would do much, but like it literally doubles the mana cost of this card. So I think it would be more impactful than you would initially think and it would like change gibberling from being like an early game hyrule card to more of like a mid-game board development card more in line with like glowfly swarm and i know some people suggested like you know changing the stats on gibberling to like you know like making it get like a one two or a two two to sort of like compensate for that mana cost and i don't really like this idea and i think it would actually be like a bit of a buff to gibberling and making it like just even more problematic so i'm pretty certain that like two mana one one gibberling is the way to go in terms of nerfing gibberling and i can see a world where like you know people still play gibberling for two mana and you know if they don't frankly i'm okay with that i play a lot of token druid it's one of my favorite archetypes in hearthstone but it's hard to deny that dribbling is just like an incredibly unfun card to play against and it creates like so many non-games where like like your decisions just don't matter and again that's not fun and like if the card has to go i'm not going to be really losing any sleep over it okay now moving right along to the priest nerfs here according to alec dawson the devs really want to hit priest card generation and burst healing and i think there's a bit of ambiguity in regards to the card generation as to what's going to get nerfed exactly which i will talk about later in this video but for the burst healing it seems pretty clear to me that they want to nerf the samro apotheosis combo because you know while priests should have healing because it's like a mechanically flavorful thing for the class to do uh samro apotheosis is just you know it's a little too much healing and it's also a board clear so it could generate like a lot of tempo as well now if it were up to me which you know sadly it isn't i would like to see uh samro actually get nerfed because that's a nerf that will also hit rush warrior which is a very powerful deck that that you know it's currently held in place by priests and stands to benefit greatly from any nerfs to priest but you know frankly i don't see the devs wanting to nerf like one of the handful of frenzy cards that actually sees like consistent play as well as like you know he's a face card of the set so i think instead we're going to see an apotheosis nerf and i've seen a lot of takes on like how exactly apotheosis should get nerfed and i tend to agree with the take that uh the stats on apotheosis should get nerfed to being like one three instead of two three and then like the mana cost stays the same and i think that's what's gonna happen that's my prediction apotheosis is gonna stay uh three mana and it's gonna go from uh two three to one three typically mana cost nerfs are the like simplest most effective ways to tweak a card but i don't think that would actually be impactful enough in the case of apotheosis due to the mana cheating that priest has uh with palm reading i think priest would still be able to you know like pretty consistently get that samuro apotheosis combo down like turn seven or again even earlier with that mana cheating so you sort of have to like nerf the stats on apotheosis assuming samuro's off the table which i'm pretty certain it is currently the, like the samuro apotheosis combo deals three damage to all minions but if you make this change then it would actually deal two and the difference between like two and three health in hearthstone is like huge in terms of minion survivability like again like a change like this means like priest not only gets less healing but on top of that like they won't be able to clear off like as many minions as they are, like currently can right now with that samuro apotheosis combo so i think this makes it like not as bad to play into and because like as opposed to like right now where like samuro apotheosis combo it, it usually spells disaster for any board based deck so you know overall i'd be like i'm open to a change like this i know a lot of people foam at the mouth with seething rage when they talk about like apotheosis you know i never thought it was like you know that bad to begin with but i think 
think, you know, the time has come for it to finally get a little bit of a nerf. Now, moving on to the final card that's going to get nerfed, and I believe this one is a bit more contentious in the community because, like, you know, devs want to hit priest value generation, and, you know, there's really, like, a lot of cards you could hit to weaken that. What I've been seeing the most of is people saying, like, Renew is going to get nerfed to be two mana, and, you know, I can see the devs doing this and like yes it would weaken priest value generation but like i don't think it really gets at the heart of the issue here which is as i talked about in my uh, recent priest video is how priests can like go pseudo infinite with raise dead and these minions that generate spells so i'm pretty confident that like if you want to like meaningfully disrupt priest value generation then you need to hit like something in this chain here i think overall there's a lot of people that would love to see a raise dead nerf because not only is it like really good value and standard but it empowers dark lair warlock and wild which you know from what i understand is a, a, a deck that a lot of people don't really like in wild right now but i don't think blizzard necessarily wants to nerf raise dead because it's a shadow spell so it's going to help that new shadow priest that's going to be pushed in the, in the new expansion and then it's also probably going to be very crucial for that new quest warlock where you, you like damage yourself and i don't think they want to like potentially kill that deck before it's even released seems very odd to me so i think the only card that you can like really hit that makes sense in priest value chain is the venomous scorpid because it's a minion that you know it discovers spells and it could actually get you all three of the problematic value spells in priest right now which in my opinion are it's the raise dead the renew and the palm reading all three of those are sort of a problem but i think the scorpid it just allows you to get more of those and like if you ever happen to get like the raise dead off the scorpid or generate one through like a renew or palm reading you can go pseudo infinite with the scorpid and to me like that is the most frustrating thing about Priest right now, especially since like Venomous Scorpid is actually a good minion. It's a poisonous minion and it allows it to like sort of like function as like pseudo removal. It could trade up very efficiently on board and really just gunks up the board in the early to mid game, especially if Priest can get like multiple copies of it. So my predicted nerf is that Venomous Scorpid is going to go from three to four mana. I think slowing it down will make it just a bit more awkward to play in Priest, especially against like aggro decks that could, you know, they could probably just like ignore it at four mana now. And then this also slows down like the value chaining from Priest. The, the value chaining that literally drives me insane. But, you know, to be honest, I sort of wish they were nerfing more than one priest card here because, you know, personally, I think, like, nerfing Scorpion will probably be the most impactful, but I can also see a world where, like, nerfing like any one of these cards doesn't actually do enough and we're actually like still complaining about like the value generation into the next expansion so that's gonna be my final little bonus prediction for you guys uh they're, they're gonna nerf one of the value cards it's not gonna do enough to sort of deal with the problem and we're gonna be complaining about this in one month uh so I, I hope i'm wrong about this but that's my little bonus prediction for you guys but anyways those are my predictions and just to recap gibberling to two mana apotheosis to one three stat line and venomous scorpion to four mana let me know what you think about these nerf predictions down in the comments and also don't forget to let me know your own so i could potentially uh point and laugh at you later like i know you will be doing for me later and also if you enjoyed the video definitely uh like the video because it really helps me out and subscribe to the channel for more superior hearthstone content but anyways guys literally cannot wait for the nerfs because i feel like they're really going to help out the meta no matter what they are because we just need like a little freshening up at the moment but until then guys stay superior and i will see you on the next one later Get that